Uh, Justin Wong is going to be going up against RB. He is the one that sent RB to loser's bracket, and he did it pretty solidly. He, it was 3-1. to one. He stifled RB. RB was never able to get all the, all the little tricks and cool setups that he wanted against Justin. Justin just kind of put him in the corner, and really RB just never had a chance to get out, get anything started. Yeah, so I, I think it was instructive to me to watch RB play against Ricky and win in the fashion that he did because it wasn't about those trigger mix-ups as much. Certainly they were in there, but it, that wasn't the game plan necessarily. And so that's going to have to be more of what happens here for him against Justin if he's going to take it. Because Justin did do his homework against those things. Yeah, but the tough part again, I know we've mentioned this at so many events already, but it's tough because when you lose a match, you sit there and think about why you lost. And you're like, I should have did this. I should have did that. The winner, however, is like, whew, I got past that. Let's move on. Yeah. And so, you know, perhaps RB thought about this a lot. So he might have something ready now okay. for the run back. We'll see if that's true. Still no anti-airs. That's been an issue for him the entire weekend. That character does have anti-airs. They're a little mm -hmm. awkward, and you got to know which ones to pick at the right time. But they're there. Oh, and here we go. So as I mentioned, RB really wasn't able to get anything like this going before. Oh, no, he oh, didn't get the bounce. Almost the time. And tried to cancel into something, but I mean, stood her not? up. Yeah. It stood her up and got caught. And now Is she too short? I wonder. Justin with the life lead. Tries it. Gets tries out of it. There. And yeah, Yurian with no EX meter, I'm sure he can EX charge the, the dash back from the V-trigger. Ooh, dashes into a fireball. Yeah, what a timing on that fireball. Taking a risk throwing each of those. Karen has such good ways over and under. Oh, Aha! gets in there, and that's some of the offense that he was trying to put into his game that he talked about at oh, SoCal the timing. Regionals. And just like you said, those dangerous fireballs. Yeah, they're, they're tough. You know, you just, you're there for a while. Coming in for the attempt. RB putting an end to it. And slowly, Justin makes his way through. But again, that very, very fast EX. And I love that he gets the mix-ups out of forward strong like that. The meaty forward strong for plus frames. Oh, the tempted the anti-air with the stand fierce. Didn't quite work out. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a danger. Yeah. As Karen against Urien. Oh, he actually got the link of the Crouch Light Kick afterwards. I don't think RB thought that that was going to connect. Otherwise, he would have been able to combo into something. Okay, I like the movement. That was very well-timed. RB. Oh, no! That was a huge drop by Justin. There was so much available to him there. All right. going to go for this. Oh, look at that. Trying to do the dance. Got to be worried about right. Dashing right out. That, that Urien. EXO. And also buttons into trigger. A lot of control available to RB. A lot of damage available to RB. Justin just letting his oh, oh really wow, he clipped him with the just the tip of that crouching medium kick was able to confirm in there oh no you know what what's you, it gonna be oh yeah you don't want to let RB back in this kind of situation he has V skill the one time it doesn't kill right, right. overhead oh. he dashed up it wasn't just overhead from a knockdown or from some, even some close-up situation. It was dash in overhead. Very yeah. rare to see that. And that, I think, is a really nice sign for Justin. He is instituting these offensive ideas into his game. And when he builds all of that together, that's going to be, and already is, really strong stuff. Yeah. I mean, one of those things is when you get that EX dash in there like that, it kind of freezes the opponent. Like, oh, I'm too late. He's going to crouching medium kick. So you just low block defensively. Yeah, sure, sure. And then all of a sudden, there it is. Oh, he baits out the throw, and that's going to be the stun. What's he going to have afterward, though? That's the question. I want to see what the situation will be. Yes, he does go for this. Oh, Great block. you know what? He remembers. He watched the match against Ricky and saw that RB was so willing to just throw out the EX headbutts in right. those kind of situations. Exactly right. Okay. So just oh, really a grab. Trying to continue what he was doing before. Maybe another little bit of info that Justin had. Does not get a free dash after that Desirian. Mm -hmm. Good reaction blocking that. And you know, I mean, honestly, if you've played Third Strike, seeing that animation is help, you know, you're used to it. And you'll be able to block that a lot better than a lot of other players who aren't quite used to it just yet. No trigger yet for Urian, so he's not quite as dangerous as he might be. But he is pressuring. Oh, put himself into the corner. Oh, Very unfortunate boy. for RB. 
damage. Damage. Potentially a combo. Yeah, potentially a combo away. Let's see what he gets here. Will Yuri? Oh, oh got man! Got him! There was that bait again. The throw bait and an RB falls for it. I, what's interesting to me right now is it seems like just the read that I feel like Justin has on RB is that RB is very reactive and he's willing to try to okay. counter a lot of things. Okay. And so he just baited out the EX headbutt. He just baited out the throw to win those two rounds in a row. It seems like Justin understands that the way to defeat RB is to feign offense, to show a threat. Okay. See what RB's changes. So far, it's to be much more active, that's for sure. But as a result, Karen had trigger early. Pushing RB into the corner again! Oof. So successful with that. And again, just one more mix-up potentially for the stun. Again! There's the bait, and so almost done. And great block on the overhead and the punish! This punish? Oh, this is juicy stuff. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, and he goes for the close really? one. That was really smart, but... How did Justin get that throw with the mirror on him? Oh, luckily for him, he's not Q in third strike. He didn't get juggled by the Aegis after a grab. <laughs> it's cool. And Justin building back a little bit of life down just a tiny bit. Well, just he's two small chunks of life. That's safe. And wow. then just got gets tagged by the standing mirror. It looked like RB was trying to jump or go do something very defensive. Right, it did look like a jump. Uh, hmm. You know Justin has advantage after that button, yeah. but RB was just trying to play dangerously, I suppose. In any case, Justin Wong at match point. Wow. Can Very quickly. Two three O's. I believe it was a 3-0. It was the, a 3-1. One. A 3-1, one. okay. But still, to be able to take out RB, who has been playing so well, potentially 6-1 in yeah. the tournament. RB did beat some strong players yesterday, but right now Justin is getting through him pretty quickly. We're going to have to see a major change. One of the things that I'd love to see from him is those anti-airs, and yet we just haven't the whole weekend. I'd love to see him turn it on right now, but I just don't know if that's going to come. Trying to play footsies. You know, it's, it feels like he, he tried to play a very offensive style one of these mm -hmm. rounds, and it worked out a little bit, but Justin ended up taking it anyway. Maybe this is the alternative, is the very patient. Very slow style. But unfortunate. Oh, and just the perfect timing on that stand roundhouse right into the critical art. And you, yeah, you said he was playing really patient, playing very defensive style there. But then the one time he tried to go offense and charge in with the shoulder, boom, standing roundhouse from Justin converted right into the V trigger. And I saw him, I saw Justin do maybe two or three roundhouses that didn't go into V trigger yeah. on block. Yeah. And then just at the right time manages to get it. He's confirming it, I think. So that's a 3 0. Not only a 3 0, though, it was RB winning only a single round wow. through that time. Yeah, that I think was a mauling. Oh, I hope it's not the case that RB ends up dropping out of fighting games after this. You know, he, as you mentioned, he had been considering that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he really wanted to get into Capcom Cup, not knowing if he would ever do so again. Right. I really hope that's not the case. Let's yeah. take another replay so at least we get one more chance to watch <laughs> his gameplay. Yeah, he said he, he's not even sure if he's going to make it to the, the Asian really? uh, regional okay. finals, but we'll see what happens. That's but up to him, of course. He's got to handle his business. And there's Justin taking that with the roundhouse, Mijin Kak, and now look at that. Just the one time that RB decided to go for the charge, Justin catches him with the standing roundhouse converts into the V-Trigger right into the critical art. And outside of that one very rare situation, that critical art definitely killed that time. So. Yeah, that's right. Really Im Im impressive stuff.